Yet another project in the works. Here you go, buddies. Woo! The ducklings are huge. Fresh, clean water. Oh my God. We have the fresh water pond exactly where it needs to be. Oh, and we have two new pigs. I just rescued two pigs yesterday. Wake up, Biggie. An entire turtle kick. Look at them all. Oh my. Listen to how satisfying this is. Ready? All right, buddy. Oh, oh, you happy? Benny boy, hey Finn. Oh yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> what is going on, fellas? Welcome back to another video. It has been a solid like 11 days since I've showed the animals on the channel. I know it's been a while. We had went to Texas, caught a monster alligator gar. The video prior to that absolutely killed it, by the way. And we got fish for the saltwater tank. So it's been a while since you've seen the animals. And today's the day we're gonna give a little update. And then we got something epic we're gonna do inside the fish building. Before I start today's video on the Mata Mata tank, updates on the animals. And of course, the fish building has a lot inside that has gotten done. I do have a sponsor that helped make today's video possible. Today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped is the only brand in the entire world that can take control of your grooming routine from head to toe, literally. So why have a dozen cheap drugstore brands on your shelf when you can have everything all in one? Manscaped is going beyond the groin to take its patent formula and technology to the rest of your body to completely change the way we think of skin and hair care for men. In addition to providing trimmers and products designed for male anatomy, Manscaped offers a full lineup of shower products, deodorants, nail kits, and skincare products for the modern man. Now whether you're a straight baller on your budget, Manscaped helps save with their bundles. Let's talk some options. Number one, the perfect package 4.0. This is the perfect starter kit. It comes with everything you'll need to start managing your body hair, including a lawnmower 4.0 waterproof trimmer and groin grooming essentials like ball deodorant and ball toner spray. Number two, the performance package 4.0. When you want to get serious about grooming, this kit's for you. Upgrade your package and you get a weed whacker, nose and ear hair trimmer plus all of your growing grooming solutions. Number three, the Platinum Package. This is the ultimate bundle with top eight grooming essentials from the best selling products at manscaped.com. Two trimmers, all your go-to grooming tools, your ultra premium shower products, and the new underarm stick deodorant. My favorite new product in the lineup. I use it every morning. Now remember when you bundle, you get not one, but two free gifts along with the bundle. The Shed Luxury Leather Travel Bag right here. You put everything you need inside and then hit the road. And these right here are beyond comfortable. I've told you in the past, these are my favorite boxers ever. Anti-chafing Manscaped boxer briefs right here. Now what are you doing? Go to manscaped.com slash Paul and get 20% off plus free international shipping plus two free gifts. You're missing out if you don't click that link. I tell you what, look at all this beautiful stuff. Manscaped's the best. I've used it for over a year now and I've been telling y'all for over a year now click that link thank you so much manscape for sponsoring today's video again top link in the description manscape.com slash paul 20 percent off free international shipping and you get two free gifts along with your bundle bundle up baby hello boots amelius oh you made the camera all foggy hi king hello oscar it's great to see you emmy mama goat Little baby. This grass is getting really, really high. My landscaper cuts out here, but he doesn't cut in the goat enclosure. I'm gonna have to do that right now. Lady May and Mango. Of course, Lady May and Mango. Hey, Mango, how you doing, buddy? Your face is still all scratched up. Lady May? <laughs> Oh, what are you crying about? Look at all my children over here. Next door to Lady Man Mango. I gotta clean up all this stuff right here. They made it a lot messier than it was. Like, that was a clean pile. Bruh. Lulu, we got Lulu, we got Bubba. Duke, what's up Duke? And Bambi, of course. And this enclosure just looks so amazing. They love it over here, although they have killed all of my grass. There was no point <laughs> of laying grass right there. That's for sure. I guess I gotta, I gotta cut the grass in here too. I see these grass cutting videos on YouTube get so many views and I think it's just because of how satisfying it is cutting grass. So if you guys like seeing that, let me know. I'll continue to film it. Just restocked all of the animals' foods so they all have a full container of food. Here you go, buddies! Hey, hey. Woo! <laughs> the grass is looking so, so amazing. All cut straight up to the building now. Inside this building we have some epic projects to go down. Oh, it feels so good. I'm sweating already. Oh, look at you guys using the duck house, or at least one of you. 
There's Gary, and of course the whole squad. And I put the baby ducks into the duck enclosure, so all the baby ducks are a lot bigger, and they're in the duck enclosure. They're, they're running away. The ducklings are huge, and the water is very, very low in here, because I had turned it off thinking we were gonna get a lot of rain. Just like that, water is flowing again. Fresh, clean water, oh my gosh, that feels so good. If I was the ducks, I would literally sit there and bathe in that. In my eyes, the water evaporates kind of fast, but it's just like doing a giant, consistent water change. Because now, fresh water goes in, it's nice and clean, and the animals love it. Now that we've updated you on the animals, let's take a look inside here. And now let me show you what this looks like. I cannot wait to get lights in here. I just got off the phone with my guy, so hopefully within the next week, we'll have some lighting in here. Bright LED, 14 LEDs. You can see though, I have done some work. We've got a turtle corner here. This is where we're gonna do all the turtles. That is where the saltwater pond will be, right over there. We have the freshwater pond exactly where it needs to be. It is together, not fiberglass together, I wish. I'm still working on that. But it obviously needs to be fiberglass down the middle, repainted, uh, and then we'll be good to put water in it and start the filter. We have it where we want it. We placed it there this morning, and it looks absolutely fantastic, nice tucked away. We have a viewing panel from when you walk in here, and we also have a viewing panel from over here if you're kinda out this way a little bit. I plan to put a nice rug with some sort of seating area right here, like a couch or something that you could just sit, relax, enjoy the fish and everything that is inside this building. It's gonna be awesome in here. But before I show you the turtle corner, I have to show you when we bought our brand new fish tank that we are going to set up for our Mata Mata turtle today. So let's go to the store and get that fish tank. Bryson, I need you to buy a tank from a Mata Mata turtle. A Mata Mata turtle? One of these. That's a big tank down there. He'll be able to grow up in that for a while. Let's get this. Did you just look at the price tag and that's why you said that? It's $250, bro. Too bad you said it's your wallet, not mine. But there's stuff in there we don't need. We're paying for stuff for no reason. We need to find just the tank. Watertight. Much deeper. That's the one, right there. But can I pick stuff for it? Can I pick stuff for it? Yeah, we could pick stuff for it. Come on. What are you gonna do with that? What are you getting hermit crab shells for? Your mom. <laughs> Look at this, Bryson. A full, an entire turtle kit, essentials kit. It's got everything you need for a turtle inside, including the light bulb, a filter, everything for 250 bucks. Can you lift it? Try to lift it. <laughs> <laughs> this tank includes all of this. Look at this, we could put this on top of this tank and it makes the turtles have a ramp to go up and bask inside. Mata Matas don't really bask much though. They spend a lot of the time in the water, at least mine does. So that wouldn't be the smartest investment, that's for sure. He would never use it. We also got some goldfish to feed the big 3,600 gallon up front because Bryson wanted to feed them. The fish are gonna love those. And then we also gotta get this, we can't forget. Oh, oh with the camera, with the... Hey, don't drop that thing, bro. It's hanging on by three fingers. All the fish are waiting for you. They're all sitting here waiting for you. They can sense that you have a big pile of live goldfish. Oh, my goodness. Look at them all. Oh my gosh. Hurry, it's good <laughs> He wants to keep this one, okay. All right. Y'all ready, guys? Yep. All white goldfish goes into the pond with the uh, thousands of others that we released a while back. Oh, <laughs> and we have two new pigs. I just rescued two pigs yesterday. Two separate people dropped them off. I, I only had this one enclosure so I could rescue what I could for the time being. And I don't think we're gonna rehome the big coon coon, but we're gonna rehome this one black one here. If we could find a good home, of course. I don't just give pigs away to anyone. Hi, buddy. You're so cute. You're so cute and he's super, super friendly. Inside the house here, wake up, Biggie. Wake up, Biggie. Oh my goodness. The biggest pig I own. Hey, buddy. Gosh, you are big. That is our Kun Kun pig. Doesn't have a name, so if you guys want to name it, comment name down below. That one will most likely stay at the house and it was fed grower feed to then be eaten. I'll obviously keep you guys updated on those guys as time goes by. We're back and we're at the fish building again with the tank that we bought. This is gonna go right up here. And I have, I think I'm a professional electrician now. Look at these wires, ignore that. But these wires are so well done. I mean, come on, look at this, ready? Bam, bam. And look what we have set up again. A little bit of a different scape this time. I'm doing sand, a lot more sand and deeper on the left side with the brick. 
And then the right side is gonna be these rocks that we have cleaned out and they are ready to be laid inside there. So this will be the rock side, that'll be the sand side. This is the little turtle pond from the other fish room. We brought it back and we're setting it up again. This is the big old turtle tub, it's massive. We're gonna put the turtles that are on the patio, these guys, Indian spotteds right here. Look how beautiful that turtle is. And then we have some little melanistic turtle, I forgot what this one's called, map turtle. Look at that. Albino Chinese soft shell, which is getting so, so big. <gasps> ah! Try to bite me. All of those are just right now in a temporary holding tub. They're gonna be upgraded into their bigger brother version of this exact tub. Right in here, once I remodel it, I'm gonna make a nice landscape up here. This, the waterfall. So the waterfall will get done. I'm giving you a lot of information. This is a massive update video. We have some super cool projects like building the saltwater tank and like setting up the 5,500 gallon tank over there to get done as well. So if you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. I would hate for you to miss out on this epic content. It's gonna be truly insane setting up this fish building. 1,400 square feet to just have some fun. I made this like makeshift rock structure. I literally put a bunch of rocks together. I foamed it all together. Listen to how satisfying this is, ready? It is so satisfying cutting the foam off of this, but now we have a giant rock structure that will not fall, that will not move. That is gonna go in the bottom of the 120 gallon turtle pond. Now the good thing about this basking area compared to this one is this one's great when the water's at the perfect level because the turtles get up, they have a lot of space. But when the water gets too low, the turtles can't get up. Unlike this one where every water level, no matter where the water level is, they'll have a ledge to be on. We made an epic little uh, basking rock. Look how good that looks though. Wow. Check out the 120 gallon pond. The water is crystal, crystal clear. We have the gravel, sand, the perfect match right between them, and just one night of settling, and as you can see, we are set and ready to go. That looks amazing, it's so nice to have this back, and if we flip these lights on, as you can see, boom. Got that, and we turn these ones on as well. We got another basking area over here. This right here is an awesome project though. We're gonna make this new tank for my Mata Mata turtle. I'm excited, it's got some stuff inside. That'll get you higher than a kite, oh my goodness. I've got this uh, filter waterfall thing, I don't exactly know what it is. I wanna open it up. It's a lot bigger, oh my goodness. And of course it's gonna give somewhere for the Mata Mata to come up and bask as well. The filter, some tubing, obviously your filtration, and then it just pops right back out right there. Now I was gifted this red sand from Rodrigo from Predatory Fins like over a year ago. I think today is the day I'm gonna put it to use. I can go natural like I always have, but I wanna be a little bit different. Some may say, oh, you're rolling the tank with red sand, it looks like sh But no, in my opinion, I think it's gonna be unique and different and something no one else has done. Ooh. Bro. That really does look awesome. That looks awesome. Now I got some river rock to kind of clash with the red sand. Get some cool ones. The best part is we can literally pick what style we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with it. So as you can see, I've just kind of thrown some rocks on the bottom. It's a little bit of, you know? Just like that. Water is a flowing. Oh, Mia, what are you talking about? Come here, Mata Mata. You have a massive upgrade. Look at this thing, it's crazy. On your way to your new home. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. This red sand might not be in the next video. It's doing this like clumpy thing. I don't really like it. Looks good, but I might change it to white sand. All right, buddy. <laughs> this thing's like a rock. And now, of course, outside the fish building is yet another project in the works. We're finishing up the barn. We've had this barn for a little bit now and have yet to do exactly what I've wanted to do for a while and that is pour concrete out to here so that we have somewhere to walk fin and then have an overhang right here. So obviously all these will be painted white. The overhang will come all the way out to here. The gate's right there and this is all cement. Long time no see. Um, a couple of weeks, couple of weeks. But yeah, I just dropped another check on a lot of concrete, so. 
If you guys would just smash that like button for me, maybe per like I could get a bag of concrete. How many likes is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Go check out the merch, hulkfarrowbrand.com. Lots of new stuff on the website. And I promise you, you will not regret taking a look over there. I will see you right back here with another banger. Peace.